Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel, I hope you're all doing well, it starts to be really excited, because in today's video we'll speak about a lot of announcements, announcements for the channel, but also announcements about Juventus, yesterday we made on the channel two videos, one video, one live, prediction, and then we did the fantasy calcio, I will come back on that in a second, why, because it was the post Ferragosto, the day after that everyone was taking a day off, but today we are back to business with, again, a lot of announcements. If you were believing that Mercato was closed, absolutely not. There are three players that I will tell you a bit later in the video that are just queuing. They can't wait to join Juventus. We'll speak about Mercato, but first let me go to the biggest announcement. If Juventus is at the moment not able to do a fantastic Mercato in entry, well, we did it on the channel for GGF Juve, because from next week, so not today, but from next Thursday, Romeo Agresti is the new signing, done deal, as the young people are saying, here we go, like other people are saying, Romeo Agresti every week on Thursday at 11 p.m. That should be the time. Normally, I will communicate and give you more info in the next coming days here for the latest of Agresti in English on the channel permanent. This is, I believe, a fantastic news. I was looking for another guest on the channel, who better than Romeo Agresti, to give us all the latest update about the predicted lineup, about what went well or not in the week, but also speaking about Mercato, the latest from Agresti from next week here on the channel, it's not over. If you want to, go immediately to the channel of Romeo Agresti on YouTube, because from next week there will be another content on his channel in English, so if you want to be the first one, go there and you subscribe to Romeo Agresti, again, also there, more info to follow. It's not only the channel that has uh, some announcement, because this morning Juventus announced the new third kit for 23-24, we saw a lot of players wearing it, Paul Pogba, Moïse Keane, and uh, we have Kostic, three players that we will speak about today, because not sure that they will be there on the 1st of September, so pay attention, but the new kit is beautiful, a lot of reaction on that shirt, the one that were leaked were the fan version, where today the official pictures and videos that you are able to see are the one from the authentic one, authentic one that you can see has a lot more details, much more expensive of course, really expensive, every single club, it's not Juventus that is setting the price, but Adidas, but also Puma and all the other brands that are trying to have a benchmark, is expensive, but it's really worth the price, because these shirts are fantastic. Anyway, we continue with other things. Yesterday, I was able on the live, and if you want to, you can recuperate it, to build my fantasy team together with Laudantes Antonio, who had a really fun live, speaking about all the teams of Serie A. If you didn't participate yet, link is into the description. You go with the link and you create your team. We are already nearly 300 person participating. If you want to win some prizes, go and do it immediately. But it's not over, because Corriere dello Sport is now speaking about predictions. And for them, for Corriere, well, it will be again Napoli. Napoli that will run and chase their fourth Scudetto in their history. For them, Kvara and Osimen are the best players of the league, and they will go towards that fourth title. I did other predictions. Again, you can go and watch it and tell me if you agree or not. Now... We enter to the other things, the unexpected news of yesterday. Because you remember, we were all questioning ourselves, what about Paul Pogba? Is he a finished player? Do we still have to hope? Do we still believe? Even the more positive people were starting to give up on Paul. I am one of the first ones to tell you here on the channel, ragazzi. I don't know, I am not sure. My favorite player, fantastic player, the best midfielder of Serie A without any doubt, if he is healthy, but I'm not sure when he will be back. And even Max Allegri, when he spoke to Gazzetta, to Corriere dello Sport, to Tutto Sport, on television, to the microphones, post games and so on, he spoke about Paul Telling, we will have to wait the end of August to see him training back with the team at full disposal. Yesterday, friendly organized against Alessandria that we were not able to watch because it was not broadcasted on TV, who do we see on the starting lineup? We see Paul Labil Pogba from the first minute. What happened yesterday? We won 5-0. The two first goals of the game were from Rugani. Rugani is always on fire and scoring goals when it's preseason. Then a goal of Paul Pogba. A beautiful goal that you can go and watch on YouTube Juventus channel. Second half, Pogba was subbed out. We continue with some player. Goals of Dusan Vlaovic and then a 
fantastic goal of Nicolò Rovella. The title in Tutto Sport of Today is Provaci ancora, Paul. Try again, Paul. They are even anticipating and going towards a possible, a real possible call-up for Pogba already on Sunday on the bench against Udinese. I want to be a bit more cautious about that. My prediction will be that he will continue to train without taking any risk, not letting him travel to Udinese, but will be called up for the first home game against Bologna. Let's see if Tutor Sport is right, let's see if Beppe is right, but it's a positive news. It's a news that can be a game changer, because if later in today's video we'll speak about Mercato in, Mercato out, if you are able to recuperate Pogba already on the bench against Udinese or whatever, Bologna, and if in the month of September, if I can already start thinking about starting a game, ragazzi, we are speaking about probably the best signing of 23-24 and a signing that you are doing actually totally for free because it's already one of your players. So, Paul, do we still continue to give him hope? That's up to you to decide. The only thing that I can tell you about Paul is when I saw the name in the starting lineup and then saw it, seeing the, what, the images when he was able to score a goal, it's stronger than me. I can't resist. I can't resist. It's really, really stronger than me. Then I have my emotions that are starting to increase. It's really tough. But it was not the only name that was there yesterday because we also can welcome back Nicolo Fagioli that played a bit more than one half. Will he be there against Udinese on the bench? I believe yes. The thing that Max Allegri said to the opposition but also to our own players is from the moment now when Paul and when Fagioli are playing, you don't have to resist, you don't have to control yourself, you can go on contrast, you can go on tackles, so that's one of the most beautiful news, and Nicolo Fagioli that is ready to take now ownership of that midfield, yeah, last year he was a surprise, this year he's not a surprise anymore, what a fantastic goal, look at that, the ball in the sky coming, he knew, he knew that that ball would have been in that goal, he took his chance, I would love to see that in Serie A, who knows, maybe against Udinese, maybe against Bologna or Lazio on match day four. Let's see, but having these two midfielders is just a fantastic news. Not only that, because now we are entering the Mercato talks with Moise Ken or Moise Kin, whatever you want to call him. Moise Kin, that yesterday night we heard Mercato talks about him, some rumors about Milan asking to have the player player of 23, a player that we always said that we believe in his capacities, not always able to show them on the field. The comeback of Moise that first season was a total disaster, the biggest flop, the biggest disappointment, where last year he started really to perform and to show us that we can still believe in him. In the preseason, the movements of Moise were appreciated by the majority of the Juve fans. We were a bit sad that we were not able to see him against Atalanta, but it's a player that we can count on, a different player than Dusan, than Arkadiusz Milik, or, and you can even put Chiesa that is now a second striker. What do we have to do? Well, Milan wants him and I can understand it. On the other side, they want to go with him on a loan. Where Juventus is saying, eh no, eh no, a loan no. Even if it's a loan that they want to pay them because they want to go up to 5 million euro for the loan of Moise and then an obligation or a possibility, an option to buy. What would I do about Moise Keane? I would not. But it's possible that we have to make space because if Dusan doesn't go to Chelsea, doesn't go to any other team, you know that this one player that is queuing and we'll come back on him in a second. So we talk about Paul Pogba that was on that first poster of the new shirt. We spoke about uh, Keen, but there is a third name that was on that poster. Kostic, Filip Kostic, there are some rumors about Mercato. We already said it in the last few days, but they are continuing to push. Wolfsburg is a team in Germany, Bundesliga, that wants him. Nottingham Forest from Premier League. There are more teams that at the moment we don't know who. And then you have the alarms, the signals of Saudi Arabia teams that wants to go for the player. Pay attention. Beautiful interview from Chesney about Saudi Arabia offers. If you want to read, I will not talk about it now, but go on the Telegram group exclusive translation from a 
interview that he uh, just had this morning on a Polish interview magazine. So pay attention, it's a really important one if you want to see what Chesney that is linked to Bayern Munich is thinking about a challenge and also about the big money offered by Saudi Arabia. So Kostic, Keane, Paul Pogba, will the three be there on the 1st of September? Will they go and change team? We will discover it, but Juventus is thinking to make some entries. Gazzetta del Sport is giving you one name, Berardi, because apparently there is already the offer and Juventus is doing really seriously. They could go up to 30 million euro, not cash, but cash plus a player. Who can be that player? Well, we are speaking about a Sule or a Ealing Jr. At the moment, Sassuolo is not giving the same value to these two players, but there is an alternative for the people that do not want Berardi. Pay attention because it can be something that can happen and really soon, maybe sooner than you expect. Because Berardi yesterday spoke with the sporting director Carnevali telling him that he want a favor. After all these years, I believe 11 years at Sassuolo, giving everything, being the captain and always honoring their color, he wants Carnevale to make it easier for him to leave because he thinks that it's now or never that he can have that big chance going to Juve. They already agreed on a 3 million euro net salary for the four next years for a player that scored and showed everything he could already in Serie A and is ready for his next step. I already told you I would not do Berardi, especially if it's for an Ealing Junior where you have also interest from Bologna. Pay attention. Also, again, Nottingham Forest on Ealing Junior, but not going with a swap Berardi inning junior, not even for a Sule, because we are talking about a 29 years old player against a player from 20. So I would not do it, especially knowing the qualities of our Argentinian boy. But will he come or not? Well, big, big, big question mark. I tell you, he even wants to do and to close the deal before the first day of Serie A. And if you know that the first day of Serie A is on Saturday, well, who knows if today, who knows if tomorrow, who knows if Saturday morning Berardi can already be a Juve player. There are two other players waiting, as I told you, Lukaku, it is not over. And probably the voices of Lukaku that totally collapsed with the swap with Vlaovic. That's why they start speaking about the Moise Keane making space for that number nine of Chelsea or ex number nine of Chelsea. Attenzione, not over for Lukaku to Juve. And I believe that we will have to wait until the 31st of August at midnight, so switching towards the 1st of September before really saying, no, okay, we are relaxed, Lukaku is not a Juve player. But from now on, the 17th until the 31st, everything can happen. And then if Kefren Turam is further away from Juve, there is still a name that is resisting. It's the one of the young Habib Diara from Strasbourg that can be a reinforcement on the midfield, even if... The voices on Miretti and Nicolussi are still persisting with half of Serie A that wants them on loan, while Juventus is even thinking potentially to keep one, if not both of them, until January, to continue to test them, to give them minutes in their legs. Attenzione, could happen. So, uh, we spoke, I believe, about all the names that we had to speak about, about the shirts, about Romeo Agresti, the announcement. I'm super happy. I hope you are happy as well about that news. I tell you, on his channel once a week, on my channel once a week with a different content, we spoke about the shirt, we spoke about the entry mercato, about exit mercato, we spoke about the fact that we made yesterday fantastic videos with Prediction and Fantasy League. Oh, the video is complete, ragazzi. Put a maximum of like if you didn't yet, because I didn't ask it. Continue to subscribe. We are that close. But seriously, that close. I believe 15 to reach 27k. Juventini of the world on the channel. Do it. Grazie, forza. Juve.